This was a scene at around 5 this morning, as towering flames burned out of control, greedily feeding on two large wooden buildings housing Kimmy's Bar and business computer systems. The fire department got the call at around 4.37 this morning. Upon arrival, the ground floor and a portion at the front of the upper floor for Timmy's nightclub totally engulfed, along with the south, south, south western section of the, the computer. Let me see, the, it's business computer system in the building adjacent to it. Um, like I said, it was totally engulfed. Uh, we got into operations to, to try and control, uh, contain and control this fire. It was a, uh, well, we all know Timmy's, the structure for Timmy's is a big wooden and an old structure, both of them. So the heat was very intense. Um, it was early morning. The wind was blowing from the east heading into the west at a heavy rate, so the wind was not on our side this morning. The fire allegedly started here in the lower flat of Kimmy's Bar. Four persons were upstairs sleeping, including young Jacqueline Arteaga and owner of the bar, Merlin Morera. Yeah, around like 4.15 this morning. We did hear one noise and we did sleep. And my, Kamal, um, the person who I live with, Kamala, husband, he wake up me, make I go outside because the place catch fire. Um, when we notice all the smoke, they inside the building. So he tried to bring me outside, and the next two persons who they inside, we holler the name, Mr. James, Jackie, and make them come out with us, but we don't get answer from them. So we hurry around and come out outside, and then uh, when we come out outside, we see the fire start from the front of the building. Three persons managed to get out of the building safely, leaving a panicked Jacqueline Arteaga, trapped inside, screaming for help. Upon arrival, no one had informed us that someone was in there. Um, about midway during firefighting, we, um, I guess the proprietor for um, Kimmy's Bar came to the po um, inform the police, and that's how we were told that someone was in there. But upon arrival, our firefighters did not hear, or, or no one did inform them that someone was trapped in... in in the um, in the Timmy's Kimmy's sorry Kimmy's nightclub up the upper floor. When we come by by the front of the building, we hear Jackie because we holler, we still holler Jackie, Jackie and Mr. James. Uh, we we hear Jackie's help, Mandy, uh, Bush's help, Merlin, no let me hear, please help me. We tell she jump the window, jump the window, and she never do it. After, discovered, after being informed that there was someone in there, we started a, started a search in the, in the lower flat of Kimmy's and I would say like half an hour into our search, we, we found the, the, the remains. Investigators have been able to determine where the fire started, but at this point do not want to go as far as to say it was arson. Still, Merlin Morera is convinced that the blaze was set deliberately. Um, presently, we still have investigators, a team of investigators, as we speak, trying to find the cause of the fire. We can pinpoint the origin as it was in the front of, the, um, of Kimmy's nightclub on the lower flat. The front would be the, south, the southeastern corner of the, um, of the nightclub on the lower flat. I showed sure that that somebody do it because we get uh, treatment before from somebody, an ex-wife from the person who I live. She say I'm going on the business. We are dead like dog and so. So we sure that she do it. Artiaga was three months pregnant. She had stopped working at Kimmy's Bar one month ago, but still rented a room there. She leaves behind three young children. Mike Rodon for News 5.